the mystery of the 50,000-year-old sunken city in Cuba. A decade ago, tabloids and research institutions exploded to the news of an exciting underwater discovery. In 2001, Pauline Zelitsky, a marine engineer, and her better half, Paul Weinwig, found evidence of incredible man-made structures deep within the Atlantic Ocean. Paul owned a company called Advanced Digital Communications, ABC, which was working in close association with the Cuban government on a survey mission. It was one of the four firms probing the sea while searching for treasure-laden ships from Spanish colonial era. The exploration was being conducted along the coast of the Guanajasabibes Peninsula in the Pinar del Rio province of Cuba. Advanced sonar equipment was being used by the team to study the Cuban waters when they noticed strange rocks and granite structures on the seafloor. The objects were symmetrical and geometrical stone shapes, unlike what you would expect to find closely resembling remnants of an urban civilization. The search covered an area of two square kilometers with a depth of between 2,000 and 2,460 feet. For a closer examination, the team sent an underwater visual robot that re-recorded images of the structures in better resolution and clarity. The new pictures determined formations that were slightly pyramidal, while others were circular, made of massive smooth stones and resembled human granite. The size of the pyramids reportedly measured approximately 8 feet by 10 feet in height and width. Some rocks were stacked upon each other, while others were not, and at much further distance. It was surprising for the researchers to see that stones resembling an urban complex could be sunk so deeply into the sea. How did a massive array of stones relocate to the floor of the sea was a mystery no one would solve. The ADC team did not want to come to any conclusions, seeing how the images could have been misinterpreted. They were reluctant to agree that they could be remains of a sunken city without further investigation. Fragments of the site were sent to a marine geologist who studied the pieces to conclude that the test results were very unusual. Findings suggest that such magnificent stonework could have taken 50,000 years or more to sink to such depths of the sea. It was beyond the capability of cultures of that time to establish such complex structures, said Manuel Iteralde. To explain these samples in a geological point of view is very hard, he added. Soon, news agencies reported similarities between the recent discovery and the lost city of Atlantis. However, the ADC team trashed any such speculation and stated the discovery cannot be compared. The story is a myth, said Zelitsky. What we found are most likely the remnants of a local culture. Researchers are quick to share local legends of Maya and the native Yucateos who describe a settlement inhabited by their ancestors. Their entire island was washed away by the waves of the sea. Iteralde was not ready to accept any theories which connect this discovery to lost civilizations. He mentioned that the rock formations could be miraculous creation of Mother Nature and nothing more. A specialist in underwater archaeology at Florida State University added, It would be cool if they were right, but it would be real advanced for anything we would see in the new world for that time frame. The structures are out of time and out of place. The Cuban government, led by President Fidel Castro, also became greatly involved in finding the truth behind the strange discovery, along with National Geography Society and Cuba's National Museum. A tremendous interest among the country's citizens and the media wanted to finally connect the dots and declare the discovery to be something ancient and magnificent.